maybe you've wondered how we found out about the Shape Japer. Let's have a close look. As usual, it was our agents who first saw her. They sent in drawings of what they thought they'd seen. To begin with, it was mostly the weird mouth the agents noticed. Most drawings were of the Japer as a sphere. Then we found out she could change into a cuboid. Or a cylinder. Or even a pyramid. Then we finally got some pictures of the Japer as a triangle and a square. We found out she can change into a small circle or a big one. Quite an ugly one sometimes. Or she can turn into a cube. Sometimes it's hard to describe what shape she's turning into. This is pretty weird. And if you look closely, sometimes she even has different shaped teeth. By now we've got lots of pictures of the shape japer. As a circle. Or a square. Or a triangle. And we got pictures of the Japer as three-dimensional shapes too. As a cube. Or a sphere. And we managed to get more pictures. From the side. And even from the top. You can just see her eyes. But wherever the shape Japer goes, she causes trouble. Here's for not looking too happy. And she's not the sort of decoration you'd want on your Christmas tree. But we know we'll always manage to sort her out in the end. Hope you enjoyed that close look at the shape, Japer. Bye for now. Hi, Number Jack 7 here. As usual, it was our agents who first spotted the blob and they sent in drawings of what they'd seen. This was the first drawing we got. As you can see, it looks pretty weird. It looked like it had one eye and two mouths. The next drawing sent in was even stranger. The mouths were even bigger and the eye was on a stalk. We got this drawing from Agent 48. It's beginning to look more like the blob we now know and sort of love. And the best drawing we got was from Agent 21, who showed us the horrible green colour. And pretty soon, the blob was causing problems. This was the first time we saw it. The first time we saw slime making things go wrong. It made a giant pencil. And we found out more about the blob's weird eye. And here's his weird mouth. That blob can turn up anywhere. Those little blobs of slime can cause trouble. A blob on a man. And a blob on number jack four. Turned the man into a four shape and four into a boyfriend. The blob is never pretty. Especially when he opens his mouth. And watch out for when those slime blobs start coming out. There can be a lot of them. Can you spot him here? There he is! But his blobs of slime can be really hard to spot. Even a tiny blob can make things go wrong. So when we spot the blob, we Numberjacks know what we've got to do. Get rid of him! Hope you enjoyed your close look at the problem blob. Hi, Numberjack7 here. 
we thought you might like to have a close look at where we Numberjacks live. You know we live inside a blue sofa, and from here we are launched to go on our missions. There's Jasper watching! And inside the sofa are different rooms. Here's the cosy room to play in. And the gym. Then when the alarm goes, we have to rush to the control room. Here we are lined up. In the control room, we hear from the agents. And then one of us goes out from the launcher to deal with the problem. But whereabouts in the sofa are all these rooms? Have a close look. Well, here's a cutaway picture of the sofa to show exactly where all the rooms are. Can you find the cosy room, the gym, the control room, and the launcher? Here's a closer look. The control room is at the top. The gym is underneath on the left. The cosy room is to the right of the gym. And the launcher is in the arm of the sofa on the right. Here's another close look, this time from above. There's the control room at the top of the picture, with the brain game machine on the right. Then there's the gym, the cosy room and the launcher. Another look at the whole sofa. Notice the camera we have to check there's no one in the room. Now have a close look inside each room without number jacks in. Here's the cosy room with some of our very comfy cushions. Here's the gym. It's a great place to play. This close up picture shows you the steps and the tubes more clearly. Here's the control room. In front is where the number jacks stand to control a mission. Here's a close look at the screen. It's so important for us to see what is going on with the mission. And this is looking the other way in the control room towards the brain game machine. And here's that very important place in the sofa, the brain game machine. What would we do without it? This is the view from inside the brain game machine. Would you like to be in there? This is the launcher. And here's an even closer look at some of the machinery. Can you see the number panel at the bottom? And one last close look at the sofa with the number jacks inside. I'll give you plenty of time to find us. We're all there except zero and two. Number jacks nine and six are hard to find. Eight number jacks for you to spot. Did you find the eight number jacks? Here they are. Hope you enjoyed your close look at the number jack sofa. Hi again, number jack seven here. We thought you might like to have a close look at how we found out about Spooky Spoon. At first, all we had was a few quick sketches our agents managed to make. We weren't even sure she was a spoon. Then we got some drawings. Definitely a spoon and definitely a long nose. We had lots of drawings sent in, but she moved so quickly no one was able to get a definite picture of her. Some sketches didn't look like her at all. We didn't even know what colour she was. Some agents thought maybe she was green. More ideas came in. Was she light blue? Or maybe even orange? Maybe she was purple or blue. Nobody knew. Until finally we got a photo of her. And of course she was pink. Except one day she turned yellow. But mostly pink. But you never know what's going to happen with Spooky. One minute you're having a quiet picnic. The next minute you're on the ground. 
Spooky can turn up in a cafe. And she might turn everything upside down. She's always dangerous when she looks like this. Yes, we soon saw plenty of our meanie friend Spooky. We saw too much of her to be honest. Making trouble everywhere. She might turn up at your party. But it won't be a pretty sight. But if you can bear it, we got some great close-up pictures of Spooky, even smiling a bit. Or grinning. And more likely scowling. And we got pictures from the side. Yes, we've seen plenty of Spooky Spoon over the years. And even from the top. There are many pictures of Spooky to see. But she never will look beautiful. Hope you enjoyed a close look at Spooky. Bye for now.